what if, what if we sought God first before everything in our morning? Giving maybe 10 minutes earlier before everything starts stirring around? Because this scripture is so encouraging. Listen to this. Proverbs 8, 17. I love those who love me and those who seek me early and diligently shall find me. What if we took on the challenge of seeking God early, before our day, before anything? Let's try it. I'm going to try it because I need it. Because I find that once I get my day started, I always say, okay, I'm going to put God first. I'm going to make time. And I seem to squeeze in just a teeny bit amount of time. And it's always rushed and it's always hurried. And it's never quality time. And I all throughout the day, I feel like I am missing something. I feel out of sorts. I don't feel focused. But let us try this. Let us try at least 10 minutes, 30 minutes. Get up a little earlier. I know for me, my schedule fluctuates, so I'm not able to go to bed at a set time. Even now, it's really late because I'm just getting off of work. So I'm really encouraged. I am like enthusiastic. I am so eager to just work on this challenge of putting God first, first, before anything, you know, before brushing your teeth or getting dressed and just seeking God first. And let's see the little changes that occur in us that we have probably more peace, probably more joy, probably more focus, probably a greater degree of direction on what to do and not to do and probably a greater freedom and relief that we got things off our minds that we sought God early on our prayers on our needs and it's not haunting us all throughout the day as a burden so trying this let's try it let's try it it only can get better for us. It can only enhance our lives. We may feel a little tired. Yes, granted. We may feel a little fatigued because we're getting up earlier. But as we continue to do it, I believe we're going to get used to it. It's going to grow a deeper hunger for God and the things of God. But it's also going to enhance our lives to a greater, greater degree. Now listen to this other scripture. Listen to this scripture, which is one of my favorite. Song of Solomon, uh, chapter 2, verse 4. He brought me to the banqueting house as his banner over me was love. For love waved as a protecting and comforting banner over my head when I was near him. So when we draw near to God, he draws near to us. So we need God. We need God's strength. We need God's direction. We need that banner of love that's going to cover us throughout the day. Because our days are unpredictable. As you hear every day on the news, you don't know what is going to happen. You don't know what variables are going to come our way. We want to be equipped and prepared for everything that comes our way. We don't want to be like shocked or caught off guard. We want to be a prepared. We want to be the head and not the tail. We want to be above and not beneath. And I really believe that starting our day first, seeking God, drawing near to Him, even though we may be tired and a little fatigued, just that effort, I believe God honors that and will love and delight in it. So let's benefit ourselves. Let's do a good thing for ourselves. First thing in the morning, it's so hard. But let's make that effort. Let's just make that effort to pray, to read some scriptures, sit quietly, just settle our spirits under the God anointing, the power of God, the love of God, the banner of God. We deserve it. So we can go out there as warriors and slay those giants, slay those Goliaths, and win. So let's just do this together. 
Let's take on this challenge, a challenge that will enhance and better us and to grow us. So I'm going to try it. So I want you to try it too. And just let us know if you can in the testimony if what you found different, what you found enhancing. And let's just share it with others. Like just keep passing it forward. So I believe seeking God first thing in the morning is a blessing. God bless you.